Get your magic hat, a smart hat on. No matter. It really doesn't. I've noticed that too. I was going to say don't something. Ma- but. What do you mean, don't matter? It does matter. No, to me. you said it didn't matter. Well, I was just agreeing with you. Well, I'm just saying that it doesn't matter because we're not open. When they're watching, that's true. <laughs> when you're and watching. you'll forget about it comes springtime. That's right. Uh-huh. Okay. But, uh, but what you want to remember is in the spring, one of the first things we do is. Well, first what we do is we get our supply of bird seed back in, and everybody comes in and says, oh, God, thank Didn't God you're... Through the winter, yeah. Thank God you opened up again. Our birds are mad at us. We've been buying this crap from the box stores, <laughs> and they don't like it. They're throwing it all over the yard. So now <laughs> yep. they got some good stuff. Yep, that's yep. true. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the garden center, and we're going to have some very good half nurse plants again Yep. that are growing. When I go there, it's so cold, I have to put my jacket on, and that's the kind of plants that you want. You that want. means they grow them so they're hardy. So yeah. when you take a plant out of most of your greenhouses, yeah. you put it outside and you get a little bit questionably cool air, and your plant's gonna die, because it's well, used to the 70 to degree heat, or whatever they 80 turn degrees and so warm water. So half nurse turns the heat way down, and they have really, really hardy plants. And they have good plants. So, you know, in the fall, it's kind of really nice. People come in and say, oh, my God, your plants were so good. They bloomed all year long and whatever. Yeah, a lot so, of people send us pictures, bring pictures. Of, yep. So now what are you going to do all winter uh, when you can't announce any winners? Well, I keep track of it, and then I beg and plead next spring, will you let me you announce know, 15 you know, of them? You know, why couldn't Raina, why couldn't you just call Raina and she could post it? Because I think they'd rerun. be watching one show where we're announcing somebody, and down here it would say somebody else, so that might be really confusing. Well, that would be Let a good thing. Talk to her. So, what do you got? Two of them? B O E. D A N. D A N. Three letters. I mean, you know, if you would have asked something like that. D A N. Dan Kuhn is uh, this week's winner. Yep. And I thought since we're not going to be here, I might as well announce next week's winner yeah. for. Uh, just get it out of the way. Um, this is the Frazee Community Club, $100 winners. All you people about raffle tickets, I know, are tuning in to see if you're one of these winners. Dave and Judy Goebel oh, is the last good. one for 2022. But, you know, this raffle goes until August 15th or something like Yeah, somewhere in the beginning of August. So you people that have the tickets can continue to win for um, eight months. Well, watch the paper. It's listed It'll in It'll be the in the crazy form, form. Yep. and it's on the Community Club website. Yep. Our electronic sign hasn't been working for a couple months, so it's not there. But You know what? They got some stuff up there from June right now. Oh, is it lit? It hasn't yeah, been lit no, since they were doing road it's construction. Lit, but it says, you know... When did they light ha- it? It wasn't lit yesterday. Yeah, wow. it was. Yeah, it was. Okay, good. Yep. Good. So, so it's history up there that you're going to be reading about. So this is what we've got. So yes, so we I'm will be closed by the time you're watching this, and Roger will be already in Texas by the time you're watching this, probably. Mm, I'll be oh, close. Oh, not quite. Yeah. And anyway, I'll be going to the Atlanta. Now, I don't know about Atlanta, I'm for sure, but I'm going to Dallas. I'll go to the Dallas January show and the Dallas March show, and I think I'm going to the January Las Vegas show. Okay. Looking for some good stuff. So you described to me one time how big the Atlanta show is. And he said it was like one building was the size of Walmart with 13 floors. That was one building. Well, there's how three, big there's, is the Dallas show? About the same. Is it really? Yeah. yeah That's why he gets good products. Yeah. Well, they have, you know, there's a lot of companies. And what's nice about Dallas is it's easy to shop because the, the showrooms are a little bit bigger. Mm. Uh, the hallway out is bigger, wider. Well, everything's bigger in Texas. So That's why, what they say. Yeah, so why wouldn't that be bigger, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. So, by the okay. way, when I get down there, and this that would be this week, it's going to get down to 18 degrees. Down there? Yes. Oh, poor you. Well, look that's, at... That's look, when we're going to be 18 gonna, below, I think. Yeah, or yeah 18 yeah. below here will yeah, be 18 cold, above there. So cold coming through. So now so. we are... Is this it? This, we're done? We're, we are about done. What date are you opening? 
April 22nd. Is that a Thursday? Thursday. Okay. April 22nd, mark your calendar. We'll be here. We think you should be here. Yep. And by the so, way, by the way, we will be open 7 days a week in May. When, mm -hmm. we, when we open the garden center, we'll be open the store will be open 7 yep. days a week until could be the first week of June. Yeah. But for sure. Whenever we close the garden center then. Yep. And we always open the garden center by Mother's Day, even if it's 20 below. <sighs> but uh, in some years it's been almost questionably well, it's that. Snowed so. after Mother's Day. Yeah. Two years so, ago. But we open by Mother's Day. All so right. no. uh, Roger and Diane. We'll see you next year. And have a Merry Christmas. Yep. Okay. Thanks. Bye.